Night has fallen, and the moon is a glowing golden orb in the black sky. See how it shines on the dark back roads of America, and on one road in particular. Come with us, and we'll take a walk down the moonlit road, for the night is waiting, and the moon is full. The Moonlit Road presents Episode 21, The Barefoot Woman, written by Craig Dominey and Evelyn McRae, and told by Evelyn McRae. Now, I know y'all think the devil is a little old red man with horns growing out of his head, with a little red tail and a pitchfork. Ha! <laughs> Ain't so, cause down in Alabama, they said that devil is a trickster. Yeah, just like old Bruh Rabbit. Now y'all know Bruh Rabbit. He always tricking folk, especially Bruh Bear. Well, that old devil was traveling back and forth all over the world, just tricking folks. He had husbands and wives fighting and parting. Old Devil was doing a real good job, too, till he come across this here couple living in the valley. He started hanging around their house, and he done everything he could, but they wouldn't fight, and they wouldn't part. After a while, the Devil got real mad and finally just gave up on those two lovebirds. He started walking back down the road, trying to find another couple to torment, when he ran into a strange woman who was as barefoot as an old possum. The barefoot woman looked at the devil and said, Mr. Devil, why are you looking kind of sickly? Is there something wrong with you? Devil told her, no, but I's been trying to break up this couple over in the valley, and they so lovey-dovey, I can't get them to part. Woman says, shucks, is that all, Mr. Devil? You give me a brand new spanking pair of real expensive red shoes, and I'll separate that couple for you. See, I ain't never had no shoes before. Well, said Mr. Devil, if you think you can part them, it's a deal. You can get the shoes after you do the job. Now, don't you worry about a thing, Mr. Devil said, barefoot woman. You just meet me over yonder at the crossroad tomorrow evening with my brand new spanking pair of red shoes. Next day, the barefoot woman baked a mouth-watering apple pie and took it up to the couple's house. The husband was outside chopping cotton in the field and his shirt was soaked with sweat. That old barefoot woman went up to him and asked him politely if his wife was inside, cause she had just moved into that valley and she wanted to meet her new neighbors. The husband smiled and he pointed her off toward the house. Barefoot woman went on up to the house. The wife invited her in and they began to chatter away. That barefoot woman took her seat and began to praise everything in the place. It was the prettiest house she'd ever seen, finest furniture she ever laid eyes on, cleanest yard in Alabama, and hadn't ever seen a rooster as fine as that. The wife thanked her for all those kind words and gave her a bucket of freshly picked blackberries. Barefoot woman told her, Everything you got is pretty. And you know what? Use what's prettiest thing of all in this house. You show are pretty. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, says the wife. I know. But my husband is much prettier than me. Barefoot woman say, yeah, yeah. He's a pretty man, all right. But one thing wrong with him. Honey, that big old flesh mole on his neck with them old ugly black hairs poking out. 
wife says, Nah, it's okay, and I'm used to it by now. Barefoot woman said, Yeah, I'm sure you are, but it's a shame, because you know you could cut that old thing off real easy. The wife said, No, I can't do that. He'd bleed to death. <laughs> said the barefoot woman. No, no, he won't. Honey, it's easy. Here's what you got to do. You got to take you a razor with you to bed tonight. And when he falls asleep, you just reach on over there and slice that old mole off real quick and pat it down with a spider web. That'll make it heal real fast. And he won't even know you did it till the next morning. And he gonna love you even more for it when he finds out what you done did for him. The wife thanked the woman and she gave her peas and okra and told her goodbye. Barefoot woman went on down to where the husband was still chopping cotton. Boy, said the barefoot woman, you's a hard working man. Yes, ma'am. And I don't mind it at all, cause the harder I work, the more I can do for my pretty little wife. She's the world to me. That old barefoot woman took a char at the back and she said, yeah, well, from what I hear, she's seeing another man in town. What you talking about, lady? Why you lying on my wife? Well, I was just trying to warn you you better watch out, cause one of these nights, she gonna do away with you, so she can go on off and be with a new one. The man looked at that old barefoot woman and told her, get off my property, you old lying hag, and don't you ever come back here again. Old barefoot woman went on down and hid in the smokehouse, just waiting and watching. Pretty soon, the man quit work and went on home. Seemed like he just couldn't relax, though. He kept moving around, poking, looking about, trying to see what he could see, but he couldn't see nothing, and he and his wife didn't say nothing to each other, neither. Finally, he and his wife went on to bed, and the old man laying up there just snoring away, <coughs> like he dead sleep. Just about daybreak, his wife slipped out of the bed and grabbed the razor. She was slowly pulling that cover off in his head when he grabbed the hand with the razor, yelling at her. A woman told me to watch out for you, say you was going to try to kill me. Get out! Get out of my house! And don't ever come back here again! Get out! The poor little wife packed up her things, and left the valleys for good, crying, crying her poor little heart out. That old barefoot woman ran on down to the crossroads so she could get her shoes. When she get down there, the old devil holding them shoes out on a long stick. Mr. Devil, why you holding my shoes out like that? Here he said, I don't even want to be close to you. Anyone cause much disturbance and as dangerous as you is, I don't want to be near them. Why, Mr. Devil, don't you know me? Suddenly, her skin started to melt and the devil saw that this woman was his own wife. Mr. Devil cried out, Why, Mrs. Devil, why you trick me like that? Husband of mine, I've been barefoot all my life and begging you to get me a pair of shoes. Old devil scratched his head in wonderment, for who but his own wife could be a better trickster than he? Miss Devil just looked at him and said, Mr. Devil, don't you ever underestimate the power of a woman, especially your own wife. And that's the story of the barefoot woman. That concludes this tale from the Moonlit Road. Be sure to visit our website at themoonlitroad.com to find out more about our stories and let us know how we're doing. 
The Moonlit Road is produced and directed by Craig Dominey, recorded and soundscaped by Henry Howard in beautiful Stone Mountain, Georgia. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time. Ooh, ooh.